guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do today's video. It was a video I wasn't kind of planning on doing but decided to do last minute anyways. I just wanted to share what we're getting bash this year. We really didn't get that much. I thought maybe we went a little too hard but luckily we didn't get too much. I feel like we got just the right amount especially because he's going to be getting presents from his grandparents, aunts and uncles, things like that. Luckily I don't feel like we went too overboard but we did get him some cute stuff and I just wanted to share. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Okay, so first things first, I just wanted to start with our uh, Christmas Eve. I almost said Thanksgiving. What? <laughs> Now our Christmas Eve, so a tradition that I grew up doing and my family was on Christmas Eve, everybody got to open up a present. Christmas Eve is my birthday, so I got to open up my birthday presents, but then at the very end of the night, we would all gather around the Christmas tree and we were all allowed to choose one gift, obviously pending mama's approval, but we all got to choose one gift to open up. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to follow that same tradition pattern, but actually do it just slightly different. So. This is what I want to do from here on out. We didn't do a lot of traditions last year, but especially since this year is our first Christmas in our home with our family, I decided to just go with it and just decide, okay, this year we're making traditions and we're just gonna do these from here on out. I want my kids to open up a little Christmas Eve present, but instead of their present of their choice, I want to be able to have matching pajamas or coordinated pajamas because it's hard to get like a whole family matched set but I thought having like coordinated pajamas would be really cute. So I wore my pajamas in previous vlogs. They're just red and white stripe. They're super festive and they fit really well, especially considering the fact that I'm so freaking pregnant right now. But I wanted to get Bash some and he does have a pair of Christmas jammies, but I also wanted to get him some specifically for Christmas morning and also some that are a little bit neutral. I probably won't go so neutral every year, but this year I decided since he has some that are like super Christmassy, that his Christmas pajamas he'll get on Christmas Eve are gonna be a little more neutral that he can wear for the next few months, and I definitely did size up on them. I got him this cute little set from Miller & Jet. I found them on TikTok, and I think they have the cutest stuff. So it's just this red top with matching bottoms and I just think it's such a cute little set. It's long sleeve because it definitely gets colder here at night and like I said these will fit him for months especially the pants. These are like the longest pants we've ever gotten for him and I feel like these are going to be so good and they're going to fit him for forever and it's good because this kid always needs pajamas I feel like. Another thing that I really wanted to do and that I've seen people do iterations of is like a Christmas book. So some people do like 25 days of books leading up to Christmas so every night they open up a new Christmas book but I feel like that's one a lot of money and two a lot of Christmas books and I'm like if you did that for 10 years for just one kid that's 250 books but if you add more kids and you do it for every single kid each kid gets a Christmas book. It's just a lot of Christmas books and it's just it's a little bit too much for me so I decided that they would get one I mean we'll probably get other Christmas books obviously throughout the Christmas season every year but specifically on Christmas they'll get one Christmas book and the Christmas book is going to be more dedicated to the real meaning behind Christmas behind Christ and his life and things like that so more of a religious focus than like a consumerism Santa focus which we have and like I'm totally fine with that but I just decided on Christmas Eve we're gonna bring the focus back to what Christmas is really about and what we're truly celebrating on Christmas morning so this year Bash's book is going to be the ABC's of Christmas it's so cute it has the little story of Christmas at the beginning and then it just has like fun little illustrations. It's so well done and it's a board book which he needs right now because he is just the master destroyer of all. So I feel like this will hold up over the years as well with future kids and yeah. I'm just super excited about this. So he will just be getting, I'm so sorry about the background noise. I will do my best to edit it out but it is what it is. Anyhow. 
I am so excited about the book and the PJs. It's going to be super simple. I'm not going to do too much or go too hard on the Christmas Eve present, but I just thought that this was like a fun little tradition to start. Maybe I'll throw in some candy or something, but we're just keeping it simple here. Okay, next we're going to get into stocking stuffers. So I don't have a lot of stocking stuffers, but I did get just a couple of things. And the first thing that I got that my mom, I swear, always gets us, I feel like it's the perfect stocking stuffer for literally anybody in your life, is socks. So I got Bash this like group of socks I found on Amazon. They're super cheap, they come in cute colors, I love them. And they look a little bit big for him now, but it will be perfect because they will last a long time and they will fit him for a while. So I got um, a pack of socks for him because that's something that he needs. And then I got him some forks. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in a stocking or if this is just gonna be a present, but I just got these little forks off of Amazon. He's always needing more. We only have three right now and I feel like we're constantly having to wash them. So just so that we have a couple more laying around the house, we have got some forks, I got a 12 pack, and anything that I can link down below, I will link down below for you guys if you're interested for Christmas presents, maybe for your kid's future birthday, whatever. But got him some forks. And then I got these three sets of flashcards from the Amazon like dollar bin section. I feel like things range from a dollar to like five dollars in that section. But I got these three, so I got sight words, I got cultures of the world, and then I got opposites. And I don't know if I'm gonna give him all three, I haven't quite decided. I think I'm for sure gonna give him the opposites one, and then maybe the cultures one, because I think it'd be fun. Um, and then I might save one of these for his birthday or something, but I just saw these the other week at the store and I was like, Wow, these are so like cute, they're fun, they're cheap, and I feel like they'd be really good for Sebastian. So I got these and we'll see which ones I end up giving and which ones I don't. And I think that's it as far as stocking the stuffers go. I think I might get an ornament for him and that might be it. Maybe some candy, some of his favorite snacks, which would be like, oh my gosh, he loves chips. He loves chocolate. He really loves Reese's. So I might get him some Reese's. I think that might be it. I don't really know. I'm trying to just think of a couple more things, but they will just be like super, super small. Anyhow, so those are gonna be his stocking stuffers for this year. And then as far as presents go, I got him mostly just toys and I thrifted some and then got some from some small shops. So the first one that I got, it's from the thrift store. I thrifted this. It is a Melissa and Doug thing and it's just like, I don't really know, but I feel like this would be so fun for him because especially because he's super into like smacking things and making loud noises right now. So I feel like this is like the perfect little thing for him is just to be able to smack it, have it actually do something. Also, sorry if that was like so loud in the speaker, <laughs> but I'm sure you can get this like at your local Target, Amazon, wherever. I love Melissa and Doug toys. I feel like they're super high quality. I also thrifted a little ABC board set and it has like the little letters that go with it that you just kind of help him put in and this one is electronic so I believe that when you put these letters on the coordinating spots I don't even know um, it says the letter or it says the sound but either way I feel like this is like a perfect thing especially for him learning his ABCs I think this will be super fun I am bummed though because since it is thrifted I thought that it would have all the pieces but it's missing the U which is sad and it's only one piece and it like slightly will drive me crazy that I'm missing a piece. But overall, considering it was $2 at the thrift store and it's in like such good condition and everything, you get what you get, <laughs> you know? It's really not that big of a deal. So I'm like trying not to think about it, trying not to let it be that big of a deal. But I just thought it would be super fun for him and just something we can do together. So got this. And then I also got these next gifts from the dollar section. I think I'm only gonna give him one, but I got two of these little puzzles where you can like put an animal together and while it's flat right here, it like 
does end up being like, I don't even know if you can see this, but it does end up being a 3D puzzle. So I got two and I think I'm only gonna give him one for Christmas. I just can't decide which one. Um, and then the other one I think I'll save it for his birthday, but I just thought that these would be so fun for him. They're so cute and they were super cheap, three bucks. Y'all, hit up your Target section. Target dollar section is so good. Last but not least, I got this cute, 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 super cute set um, from this small shop called My Echo Tot, and it seriously is so cute. So it's a little Noah's Ark, and it's like a balance board thing. It comes with all these animals that you can balance on here and balance elsewhere. Um, I did bring out all the animals because I feel, last time I tried to do this, I just dropped them everywhere and it was hard to crawl around when I'm so pregnant to pick them up. But it comes with so many cute animals and they're, so, uh, I just love it. I think it's so fun. I can also talk to him about the story of Noah's Ark. And I also think what I'm going to do in the future is take little pictures of these and then do like matching flashcards so he can learn what the names of the animals are. So I just thought it was fun, cute. These are super high quality as well. And I think I just enjoy playing with the animals and hopefully one day we'll get to the level where he can balance them out. But I just thought it was just such a fun, yeah, cute, fun, cute little present. I'm not gonna do a count on how many times I just said fun and cute because that's embarrassing. <laughs> But anyhow, that was the last gift that I got him. And I actually have a code for you guys if you wanted to shop from My Echo Tot. They sell baby clothes, accessories, toys. They have so many good things and they're ethical, sustainable, and a small business. So if you'd like to support those things, you can use the code CHANOLAREN to get 15% off your order. And like I said, I got a toy from them, but they also have so many other things and you can get 15% off anything that you order and I just like seriously they're so cute they have so many cute options for both boys and girls they have gender neutral pieces and they have cute toys stocking stuffers and other things as well for you guys if you want to check it out so reminder Chanel Loren for 15% off your order and I will leave a link to my Echo Tot in the description down below so that is all we got Sebastian for Christmas this year. Like I said, we didn't go too hard. We didn't go too crazy. I thrifted some things. I shopped the dollar section for a lot of things. And then I splurged on a couple things. Like I would say that, that, that this little Noah's Ark was more of like a splurge item just because it was one of the more expensive items that we got him, but all worth it. I think the biggest piece of advice, if you guys are still shopping for your kids, for anyone really, um, but specifically for kids, it's hard to know like what's age appropriate, but I would just follow like whatever your kids are into. So I think that something I could have got Bash this year is like an official basketball hoop because he is obsessed with his little basketball hoop that we have in his bath. And so I feel like that's something that you can get your kid. It's a basketball hoop. Just follow whatever your child is interested in. And it may not be what any other kid is interested in at his age or her age or whatever. But when you follow what your kids are super interested in, it's just gonna like, that will be the best present for them. You don't need to get them anything that I gave, I showed. You don't need to get them anything else, but just follow what your kids like what they love what they're showing interest in they are really into baking you can get them like a little chef's hat or like a little baby kitchen set things like that so that your kid is just like able to do things and have things accessible to them so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video but i hope this video helped inspire you if you guys needed some ideas i will also link as much as i can down below and yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. I hope if you need to shop that you also think about maybe shopping more small, but I totally understand that shopping small is not always the easiest or the cheapest option, but I hope that you guys just enjoy your Christmas season, enjoy gift giving, and remember that anything you can give your child is enough, even if it's just your presence and your time and your love and affection. That is more than enough and that is especially what they need always. So 
Anyhow, I hope you guys have a good one. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And we will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.